Ha. Good morning. It's the Call Flow Radio Show, and you're on the air. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Uh-oh. Good that morning. My, yes, my, yes I'm, I'm here. Are you, do you have to stand on your tippy toes? Uh, I, 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 I wore my... I, I wore my uh, oh, good. You yeah, got your, yeah. your pumps. My, my pumps <laughs> pumped me up just a little bit. Do you know that song? Oh. It's a, no, I can't get into it. It was a song about Columbine. It became a very popular sort of song about um, can you outrun? Uh, Not in I'm, these shoes. I'm I can't <laughs> outrun anybody. <laughs> Not the tennis shoes at all. Oh, my. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm a little, I don't know. It's a little foggy out there. Or for me, it's a little cloudy in my head. So I'm just well, I, not I sure. think it would be foggy in your head and cloudy out there. Yeah, you'd <laughs> think, but I just, I don't know. It's okay. I don't even know my own name. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> It's Larry. Larry uh, Lasagna. It's just, it's, there's a certain point in time in the day that I wake up, and it is not now. It is after <laughs> this. You're not a morning m- person. I am not a morning okay, person. Thank that you. That explains man. it all. Uh, are you? Are you a morning person? Well, I can sleep in to <laughs> 8 or 9 o'clock if I could. But, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, but when you're, you know, when you work in radio and the- you, you don't get that opportunity. Well, it just depends upon what time, what your schedule is. But yeah. 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 Anyway, I'm, I I can't say that I'm all here. Well, I was, um, I was used to waking up when Francis would get up at like three thirty. Oh, oh no 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 no. Yeah, that's yeah. that's wrong. Nobody should have to endure such craziness. And you know, to, to come in and act like, not act like, but feel make everybody else feel like. Yeah. It's going to be a great day. Exactly. Come, we we give o'clock. it all away. It's, six o'clock. <laughs> it's the Wake best up. day ever. That's yeah, right. get up, sunshine. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yourself. I try to motivate people a little bit out there, mm-hmm. you know. Sure. I think yeah. When there's a good song and I'm dancing my brains out, I, I don't know if that's the. See, it's, it's word selection that I miss out on. Okay. Yeah. Did you know it's National International Museum Day today? No, I did not. Now you know. Now I know. What museums do you like to go to? Well, I've been to uh, the Smithsonian. I've okay. been Which to one? All of them. The really? <laughs> most, <laughs> most all. Of them, yeah. Okay, so you're not a you're not a stranger to DC. No, no, not really. Okay. Yeah. I've been to the um, uh, Museum of Natural History. Mm-hmm. They have a nice one in Denver, Colorado. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And they've got a they've got a some nice museums there in uh, Richmond as well. Nice. Yeah. What would you say was your favorite? My favorite? Hmm. Um, I would well, have to say the Smithsonian because... Yeah. You know, I actually so, haven't been to the Smithsonian yet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. Well, I lived on the West Coast, so yeah, I have partial right. reason right. for that. But you should go. Yeah. yeah, we went to the Space Museum, the one at mm-hmm. Bedouls. Uh, that was fantastic. We went to the Spy Museum. That was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But we tried to sneak into the Smithsonian, but it did not work. So yeah. it's kind of a, you, you kind of have to plan on that's what you're going to mm-hmm. do. So yeah. and we didn't do that. We were hoping to just, you know fly through and uh so we could tell everybody we've (laughs) yeah oh i went to a museum in uh, shanghai china it was four stories it was like the history of shanghai and china and stuff that was impressive that was probably the most impressive well the air museum is just out Mm. outrageously cool yeah all right national cheese souffle day (laughs) <laughs> do you make souffle? I have made a souffle really? before, and it didn't fall. Oh, really? Yeah. Aren't you smish? Yeah. <laughs> I got those egg whites just going to town. Yeah, you were you were you were working on it. You're like, oh yeah, I can see you. My first souffle is going to be perfect. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, yeah. It's a, well, most people know what a souffle is, right? Yeah, I assume so. I. Yeah. Uh, do you like souffles a lot? Or? Yeah. Oh, they're all right. Yeah. yeah. It's something I never order at a restaurant. You don't yeah. see it in very many restaurants either. So. No, it's sort of like a fluffy omelet type. Fluffy omelet, yes. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> National Dirty No Dirty Dishes Day. No Dirty Dishes. Oh, I mean, I gotta go home and clean out my sink. Yeah. <laughs> the dishes are yeah. Dishes. I made lasagna last night, so there were a lot, a lot of, of dishes. dishes. Although I do it's well. Delicious, by the way. Folks. Well, thank you. I do well at cleaning up as I cook. You know. I try I, to. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not possible just because of timing purposes. Right. But I worked in kitchens for a long time, and I finally got understood timing mm-hmm. and everything. So. Yeah, Francis always says, Chris, how do you do it? How do you put everything on the table and it's hot? I'm going, <laughs> it just takes time. Yeah. It does. It's, yeah. uh, it's amazing. But once you get that down, it's, mm-hmm. uh, everybody benefits from that that's, that's true. so a no dirty dishes day suggests taking a break from your regular daily routine there are a few options for this day the problem with dirty dishes is no one likes them okay dirty dishes pose a number of problems besides more work hmm. well Iggy loves Dirty dishes. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, she clean those. She uh, cleans them up to sparkly. Clean them whistle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm never eating at your house. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess if you leave stuff around, a lot of bad things happen, like salmonella, yeah. clostridium, norovirus. So, yeah. Oops. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, I love have I have a computer here reading some stuff and then uh, Chris will read it and then I move the mouse all around so it's, so it's impossible to see. Uh, Larry, 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 Larry. Okay, what else have we got? Relatives Day. Oh, oh visit your relatives. Visit day. your relatives day. <clears throat> Who's your favorite relative to visit? Like throughout your lifetime. Throughout my lifetime. Was it a grandmother or a grandfather? It was, uh, no, it was my Aunt Peg. Uh huh. She lived in Frostburg, Maryland. And we got to go up there to visit with my grandmother. And, and But I never stayed with my grandmother. Huh. Um, and usually my brother, one of my brothers, would get sick with roseola or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But anyway, I was the one that got to stay with Aunt Peg. And she lived in a row house. Uh huh. And they had an upstairs apartment that sometimes they would rent and sometimes they wouldn't. Nice. And I used to go up there all the time and play. <laughs> nice. Even yeah. if other people lived there? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> when it was vacant, of uh-huh. course. And uh, it was just really cool. That Plus, she cool. had the biggest bathroom and the huh. biggest bathtub. I used to love to go in there and take a, you know, take a bath yeah. in the bathtub. It was those a big bathrooms sort of strange to me. You know, when you have to like travel across the bathroom to get to a sink or mm. anything like that, it always seemed a little weird. For some reason, in, again, in Shanghai, China, the hotels there would have these humongous bathrooms. I mean, probably about the size of a, the whole station here from there up. Really? Crazy. Yeah. I don't know what they're expecting. Maybe bathroom parties? I, or I some, would. Yeah, a, a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have a wedding shower or a baby shower or something they, like that. Oh, that's bad. That's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, you so, know. Yeah, that's, that, uh, my Aunt Peg, was, she was great. That's cool. She was great. And where was that? Frostburg, Maryland. That was when Maryland. I was young. Okay. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who my favorite would have been. Probably, I don't know. I don't know didn't have a lot of relatives we'd go down to Yuma and you know visit the grandparents and cousins all down there mm-hmm. but it was Yuma so it's it's a disgusting place <laughs> Yuma Arizona uh yeah it's, oh. I consider it kind of the armpit of America oh. you know with uh, New Mexico coming down the arm and oh. I know I I don't mean to offend anybody mm. it's just when we it's so hot down there so dry so dead it's just oh. but anyway and some people was, like that. Yeah, yeah I guess. I'm trying to think of somebody else I'd visit, but just don't. It's National HIV Vaccine Awareness Day. So this has come a long way. Yes, it has. I so, can remember being scared to death about yes. HIV. I back, was, way back in the what? Seventies, eighties. Yeah, yeah. easily. Magic Johnson mm-hmm. was the big one, and I was like watching TV last night, and there he is, you know, doing a commercial, mm-hmm. and it's like, hmm. Okay, you know, we are all expecting him to, to have problems. So, thankfully, they are. And it, what, 
I don't know. I heard a little while ago that they had cured like seven people. So I'm assuming that that number's going up, and I don't know if that drug's going into FDA or whatever it is. But, man, wouldn't a cure for that be fantastic? Yes, it would. Nearly one out of every seven people are living with HIV today. That means 37.9 million around the world with HIV AIDS. Wow. That's a pretty big That's, statistic. Yes, it is. You don't that realize that. surprises me. Well, and then this, I guess there's a certain level of, there's a spectrum on this thing about how fast and how, you know, mm. severe it is. So, and I think that once they find it, they um, kind of try to knock its feet out from under it. Right. Uh-huh. It's okay. That's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. You know what we haven't done is told the people out there listening that they can call in at 434-394-0924. You said 0924. Good Shush. for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must have been reading I, my mind because I was going to say the same thing. I didn't want to. I don't want to be criticized for my O. <laughs> I wasn't going to criticize you. No oh. Way. There's a lot of stuff happening in the world today. Uh, WFLO, you're on the air. Larry and Sunshine, top of the morning. Hey, hey Barry. Barry. How y'all doing? We're doing all right. How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Something that, that I did not hear on the news last night, but Mom says she saw it. I didn't see it. I just wondered, uh, is it a problem in this area? Uh, she said that on the news last night they were encouraging people to take their mail to the post office and mail it instead of the mailboxes because folks are stealing mail. Really? Uh, hmm. That's and I just wondered, is that a problem locally? I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, she said she saw it on the uh, uh, local news, well, the channel, I don't know what channel she was watching, probably 6 or 12. And she saw it last night. They were encouraging people to take their mail to the post office hmm. versus putting it in the mailbox because there's a lot of stealing of the mail. Wow. That's disappointing. So I just wondered if anybody else heard it or seen it or know anything about it. And is it a local problem here? I, I mean, I don't have any, well, so far, have knock on wood, haven't had any trouble here, you know. Yeah, I didn't see but anything in the paper. If anybody, if, if anybody listening had a problem with it or know anything about it or... Maybe can elaborate a little bit more on it. And uh, Sunshine, I'm going to get off here and let you tell us. I uh, have a friend's doctor's appointment went yesterday. Uh, he didn't have a doctor's appointment yesterday. Oh, I thought it was yesterday. No, he's he's um, he's going up to uh, Charlottesville to be uh, fitted for a brace on his left leg. It's one of those that's, you, you know, you put it inside your shoe, so they need to get a form of his foot and everything mm-hmm. so they can make it custom ma- made for him. And uh, he's also going to be um, fitted for a brace around for his neck so he can hold his head up better. Mm-hmm. And oh, then okay. uh, yeah. then well, next totally Thursday, tough. a week from today, he's going up to the ALS clinic. So we have two trips to Charlottesville next week. I see. Yeah. Well, he's in the mountains today. It was something to do with the sleep machine, I thought. Oh, the CPAP. Yeah. We have still got a call about that. He's... He's been trying very, uh, you know, regularly to try to get used to that machine, but we I think we might have to use a different mask for him because oh. it's uncomfortable. Right, right. So, well, but, I certainly uh, wish him the best, well, and uh, y'all you. are continually in our thoughts yeah. and prayers, and uh, wish y'all the very best, and uh, we certainly keep up the good work there at Flow Radio and your part, and uh, Larry, you're doing a good job as well. And, Thank uh, you, Barry. Just thank y'all for being here for us. That's that's great. Awesome. We appreciate you too. Yeah, thanks for Have calling. Have a good day and a good week. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Actually, Francis is uh, on his way up to the mountains. I want to be on my way up to the mountains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His uh, cousin Ben, ah. who has recently retired, as well as taking him up there. They've got a place up there near Montebello. You know, with all the traffic, I thought maybe you guys would open an Airbnb or something back there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he's uh, going to take it. He's going to spend the day up there with uh, his cousin. That that sounds really yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Really nice. Uh, he, needed to, he needed to get away for a little while. Yeah, 
So that gives you a chance to breathe, does it? Well, a little bit. Well, every yeah. once in a while. I do the shows, work here, do much do my <laughs> Saturday show here. Then I've got to go to the grocery store. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Don't forget, it's um, no dishes, dirty dishes no, day. That's right. <laughs> you got to get those done. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. Don't remind me. Uh, so what do we got? We got all kinds of different topics we could um, kind of try to oh. jump into. Um, church and taxes. That one could be uh, interesting. But. <laughs> banned books. What do you think about banned books? Uh, let's see. Well, I don't care for banned books. You don't? Yeah, no. You don't. I mean, I mean, I don't like books to be banned. Exactly. Yes. Period. And a lot of these legislations that the media has made into a phenomenon or, you know, just blown it all out of proportion... The, they aren't banning these books for everybody. Is that correct, or well, is it just for the schools for the schools libraries, is where they're yeah. banning they, them and the libraries yeah, like libraries. that? So, yeah. I mean, I think it was it, it was great for these books that got banned because everybody went out and bought them. <laughs> That's right. You know, seriously, yeah, they right. just and it's not like you can't get it anymore either. Right. So, yeah. but I am realizing that I need to pay a little bit more attention to the extent of the um of the uh declarations of the laws, the rules, the you know that they're changing well, to regulate well, it all. With everything and this was my mother's uh Con- connotation mm-hmm. of what goes on. You give them an inch, and they're going to take a mile. Yeah, that's a good, good yeah. thing. But uh, being married to a writer mm-hmm. and a uh. wonderful writer, mm-hmm. and you know we're on our forty seventh book. We're finishing that one up. Wow. And anyway, um, it it regardless, there's a lot of work and a lot of self sacrifice and a lot of intellectual. A stimulus that goes yeah. on when a person is is writing. I don't care whether it's a fictional story or whether it's uh, for a, a school, whether it's nonfiction, whether it's a reference book or whatever. Uh-huh. It takes a lot of work. Yes. And you know, for somebody to go up and say, "Well, I, you know, I don't like this particular book. I think that we should ban it." Yeah, who it's, gets to choose yes, that, it's right? I mean, who gets I was to yeah, I was baffled that this actually came out. I'm mm-hmm. so I, when I heard it, I'm like, "You've got to be kidding me." Now, there's trash out there. There is a lot there's of a it. lot of trash out there and and that yeah, you know, it, it it it's your your freedoms there too. Right. Yeah, then you can read that stuff or you, not it just is, it's just your preference but for children of course you know you need to parents need to parents need to that's the they, and that's they, how i feel yeah. parents are they responsible have, for these yeah, things they I need mean, to oversee a lot of that and i suspect more harm is being done over the internet than any of these books mm-hmm. or all these books combined has ever done you know if a kid's sitting down to read some of these books they've obviously got a high enough um level of intelligence to decipher things mm-hmm. and make decisions about them mm-hmm. so i yeah banned books just seem ludicrous well soon was, well soon you know if you ban, ban a book you can burn a book does does that bring back memories oh, Nazi, yeah. you know yeah Exactly. Yeah, you know, book burning, and uh, it it just, mm, I just don't think that it's that's a good idea. At I agree. All. Well, and I don't, I don't know if I should bring up the topic of abortion in this um, piece, but my the reason I would bring it up is that um, again, media sensationalism has divided this. It's not a, a, a ban completely. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's a ban on a certain period of time when the when the embryo is viable and that type of stuff. So it's, uh, but they don't talk about that very much. No. You know, it's all yeah, they're taking this away. Yeah, they're regulating me. Um, yeah, they need to be regulated. It's just it, it's a tough one for me. I I don't know how do you feel about, and I know this is a tough topic for a lot of people to talk about. Well, I feel like it's up to the individual. Personally, mm-hmm. I do too. Uh, and and her doctor hit her doctor, her yeah. physician. Your body. I don't think that the government should have anything. 
yeah, I agree. To do with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, sorry, we'll jump out of that one, but um, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Do you watch much TV? I think I've asked not, you not, this. Not a whole lot. Ever, I used to. Did you ever binge on anything? Binge? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, let me see. I used to binge on uh, Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's just a good series. WFLO, you're on the air. Good morning. Thank you. Hey, morning. Hey, since you're talking about things like maybe potentially controversial topics, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I listened to uh, Terry Gross do an interview with uh, Matthew Dalek who uh, wrote uh, the new book, The Birchers, and he talks about the John Birch Society. Hmm. Have you heard that? Mm -mm. I've not, no. There was a 38-minute interview on Fresh Air that I heard yesterday. I think it's on again today, but uh, I was so surprised. Things like banning books was part of their MO as well. Um, you might want to listen to the interview. I don't want to go into details. I might... Um, uh, cause some people some distress this morning. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Right. But it is definitely worth looking into. And I can send you the link to that if you want it. Yes, please. That would be great. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, it's... Okay. it's yeah. I, I, it's sort of sad that there are so many topics that we can't broach these days, really. You know, that one's a, a little hard, but... Well, you know, that's that's just my opinion. That's not, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, you'll send us that link. And, yeah. I'll uh, send it to your general info okay. email. That would ah, be great. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I'd love to hear you talk more about it if it's appropriate. <laughs> All right. We'll take a look at it and see what we can do. Oh, great. All Thank right. you. You bet. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ah. Uh, so... Did you ever think you were going to pay for water in your lifetime, and now it's just normal? Yeah, I you know, I see all these people buying all this bottled water, and it just makes me wonder where the bottles have been. <laughs> where did they get filled up? Yeah, it's and how long have they been stored right. in a plastic, uh -huh. you know, container? Yeah, I, I started filling them up out back with the hose. And <laughs> Charging five dollars a bottle for it. <laughs> <laughs> People said it tasted so natural and clean. You know, yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 I. <laughs> well, we had a place called Pickett Springs. Uh huh. It's out uh, south of, of off of Route 15. Pickett Springs. Pickett Springs. Oh, and Pickett. Pickett. Not Pickett. No, like uh, Pick a. Mrs. Pickett. Okay. And uh, was it was on her property. And uh, lots of people would come down there and fill their, it's lithia water, lith, lithia water. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, they have swore by it. Huh. Of course, you can't do that now. But, but Was it the fountain to. of youth? Well, could be. Yeah. Could, was, you never know. You never know. You know what you know, time it is? It's I, like. It can't be 8.30. It's 8.32. 831. You're no. Really? Yeah. Time, well, let's get to it. Time flies. Should yeah, I do some weather first? Sure. Does that work for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like it's 55 degrees outside and mostly cloudy with a humidity at 89% and winds out of the north at 6 miles an hour and the barometer at 30.19. Sticking right there. Today's going to be partly sunny with a high of 71 and overnight mostly cloudy with a low of 49. Friday, similar, partly sunny with a high of 73 and overnight a low of 54. On Saturday, mostly cloudy in the morning and then a chance of showers later on, 30% chance with a high of 78. And overnight on Saturday, there's a 40% chance of showers later on, but very little. And the low of 54 on Sunday, it's going to clear out and be mostly sunny with a high of 76. Overnight, mostly clear with a low of 52. And then Monday, we're starting the work week nice and sunny and warm of 79. And that brings us to our favorite time of the day. Ah, uh -huh. uh, some about that music just goes, everything's going to be okay. It's going to be just fine. It's all right. All right. Well, today is the 18th of May already. Oh. Can you believe that? No. It just, it's just amazing. Anyway, we've got some people celebrating a birthday today. Cam Tanell, 
is celebrating. Sam, we hope that you have a fantastic day today. Of course, uh, then on, as we will move over here, the 18th, Bonnie George oh, celebrating happy today. Happy birthday, Bonnie. Happy birthday to Bonnie. I had an Aunt Bonnie. Really? Yeah. Huh. She was a hoot. Your mom's side or your My dad's side? My mom's side, yeah. Did you have lots of aunts and uncles? Uh, yeah. We'll get to that. After did. The yeah. Episode. Anyway, today <laughs> also celebrating Faye Weston from okay. the crew area. We have Colton Hines. Also, Bubba Spencer. Happy birthday to Bubba. Hey, Bubba. And Trent Hayes is celebrating a birthday on this 18th day of May. No anniversaries to tell you about. So that's going to do it for our birthday and anniversary calendar. And Larry, do you want to tell them how they can get those names to us? You know, there's a few ways they could probably mm-hmm. do that. They yeah. could um, email them mm-hmm. at general at wflo.net. Mm-hmm. And they could mail them in at 217 West 3rd Street, Suite 2. I remembered. Mm-hmm. Farmville, Virginia, 23901. That's right. And they can call in today. They could? During the, yeah, during the call flow. Oh, they could call right now and yeah. wish somebody a yeah, happy birthday? Right. Yeah. I didn't know that people could do that. Sure. We allow that to happen. We allow that to happen. We wouldn't know what they're calling about in the first place, would we? So we'd have yeah. to answer it. We'd have to answer the phone. And then if they said, hey, I want to announce a birthday, mm-hmm. we wouldn't hang up on that. No, We would no, say, that would be fine. let's we will talk. Welcome that. Thank you. Thank you for I, It's <laughs> never happened to me before. I'm sure it's maybe happened to others during the show. Oh, well, yeah. Call flow show. We have. <laughs> Birthday wishes, anniversary wishes all the yeah, time. Certainly, I digress. All right. Can we find something out here? Um, actually, I'd love to hear from somebody out in the audience mm-hmm. at uh, 434-394-0924 just to talk about stuff. I think there's a lawsuit um, that Jordan Miles has um, uh, initiated mm-hmm. on his... Um, Interactions with that crowd up there. I know that can be a um, a uh, <clears throat> fun topic. So uh, let's see if I can find something. Do you have the Herald? Have you? What do you feel about the climate change? And like, how do you ever feel like, oh, uh, my generation or this generation has spoiled it for the? people behind us do you feel like there's no way it can be reversed do you think that like always human beings come up with a solution at the last (laughs) moment normally what's your take on all that uh my take on climate change well we are definitely into a climate change yeah um the oceans are warming polar ice is melting um, so that means the oceans could arise. Mm-hmm. Whether it is exacerbated by all the pollution and the ozone layer and all of that, I, I'd say, yeah, we have contributed to it. Oh yeah, not for sure. not that it's uh, inevitable. You know that we probably it would probably happen anyway. It's our um, um, it's a cycle, I guess. Yeah, usually those cycles of thousands of years, but. I hate this when I have a word on the tip of my tongue and I just got, oh, 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 can't remember what, <laughs> oh, what it was. See, that's what I was hoping for. We have another caller. <laughs> All right. We had one, but um, they hung up or I pushed the wrong button. Oh, well. That's okay. So do you Maybe think this could back. be an inst... Uh, what's the word? What, uh, it's what? driving me crazy. You know when the dinosaurs were in distinct... In st- dis- extinction? Extinction. I don't know why that word can't come to my brain very mm-hmm. well. Do you think this is an extinction event, this climate control? It could be. Yeah. It could be, yeah. Because hmm. you've got lots of active uh, volcanoes around as well. That's my son's biggest one. At least it used to be was a volcano. He was convinced. Some YouTuber convinced him that volcanoes were going to be the yeah. end of us all. Uh, you, never, you never know. You just, you just don't know. That's why you like to live one day at a time like it's your last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yay. Today's Be the thankful. best day ever. Thank God. You know, <laughs> you, you have to thank the good Lord for all the flowers and the beautiful trees and, and uh, just the hummingbirds. Everything is just so, I, uh, I don't know, it's... You have, there's got to be a God somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. that feeling when you just look around and you're just mm-hmm. in awe of life. That's and that's right. what I, mm-hmm. I appreciate about 
I don't know. I would say the United States, there's a lot of countries that don't value life as much as I think that's we right. do. That's right. It's a and, different um, culture altogether. And I think that's something that we don't even really realize or take it for granted. And now that there's this threat that it's not as safe as we have tried to make it mm-hmm. for everybody, it's, um, it's discouraging. <coughs> but there's, um, I think there's people trying to change it. And there's always we're always trying to save our children. I guess is the the bottom line on most of this stuff. So. Yep. Ah, there's um, do, 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 do. drinking age. Do you think the drinking age should be lowered from 21 to like 18? You know, they've always said you know if a person can go into the military at the age of 18 and you know. <coughs> Risk his life, yeah, for you know, um, in in the armed forces or whatever. Then you know he should he should lower yeah. the drinking age. No, I don't. I think it should stay at twenty one. Yeah. In fact, I think it should go up to thirty. Well, the, <laughs> why do you say thirty? Oh, I just it just. Well, it's interesting because it uh, the men's prefrontal cortex doesn't actually develop until they're 30 and women it's 25 and the prefrontal cortex um, keeps us from doing stupid stuff Mm -hmm. (laughs) it says no that's not a good idea to jump off of that cliff (laughs) let's come back so I think 30 would be uh, you know um, it it would be a good age but could you imagine the uproar if it was even suggested that it's raised (laughs) it's Almost as bad as <coughs> Bernie suggesting that the minimum wage should be seventeen dollars an hour, <laughs> not just fifteen, but seventeen. Which I love Bernie. I he's he's brilliant. Bernie Sanders. Oh yeah, yeah. He, mm, okay. I just got a dirty look. <laughs> to each his own. To each his own. I mean, that's why we don't talk politics. That's why here. we don't talk politics. Uh, yeah. Poor WFLO. <laughs> that, that Larry guy was doing so well, <laughs> and then he brought up politics. Yeah. Uh, there's a topic here. It talks about drone strikes and if the United States should continue to use drones or not. And the whole debate on if drones are being used, uh, you know, over uh, and looking in on us, you know, Mm -hmm. ourselves, Mm -hmm. uh, our own government doing this thing. I believe that they probably are. I mean, I would be sort of surprised if they weren't. Um, but I don't know what that really means to me. I, I guess it's that thing. If you're not doing anything wrong or bad, why do you care if anybody's watching you? So, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, for, we've got a drone. It's still in the box. Oh yeah, it's been in the box for six years. Yeah. You yeah. want me to fly it for you? Just make sure it works. It sure. Works okay. Absolutely. I, I love my drones. Oh, but just don't talk to my son before I do this because. He's seen me wreck so many drones and oh. airplanes. Mm. I get them out of the box. I don't know what it is, but all my planes are magnetically, um, you know, they just want to fly into power lines, lines and, and like transformers oh. and stuff like that. You know? Okay. So, was it? Yeah. No, I love this. Uh, yeah. Is it a good drone? Like one of those I don't DJIs? know. I don't know anything about drones. GPS? I don't know. Oh. All I know is how to do is fly a kite. Oh, yeah. you got plenty of room to do that. There, yes. too. Yeah. We're going to have to mm-hmm. get some big old kites out yeah. there. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe we could have an event, like a, a kite flying event one day, you know, out there on that big mm-hmm. piece of land, you know? Yeah. There's plenty of room for people to park and right. go out there. We set up a yeah. barbecue. Go fly a kite. We said, yeah, fly a kite day. Hmm, yeah. We should look that up and find yeah. out Absolutely. when it is. The WFLO, <laughs> fly your kite day. Oh, really cool. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I want some pulled pork. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Pulled pork sandwich. Oh, pulled pork sandwich. Made by the Amish. Made by the Amish. Yeah. Okay. They do that several times a year. One of the most oh, delicious um, things I've ever had. Mm-hmm. You know, we talk about drones and drone strikes. I guess there's a significant difference in that. But um, I, eh, I, yeah, I'm thinking on a foreign level, and I have no ability to really judge any of that stuff since I really don't know what's going on. Filibusters. This one is a controversial topic somewhat. 
Haven't they been trying? Well, it depends on which party's in office. They try to make sure that the other party can't do filibusters, and that's kind of been the song and dance, right? Yeah, well, since, you know, since we had a government. <laughs> since the... Filibusters. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I agree with that. I don't think filibusters are that useful anymore. They, I mean, because they don't actually filibuster anymore. They just go, I'm going to filibuster. And then, so, so why? They just, yeah, yeah and they're like, okay, we give up. Uh, you yeah. know, to heck with that. That, just, uh, that goes into term limits for yes. senators and yeah. House. Mm-hmm. I, so why, I guess, the, the body governing itself is never going to do that, right? They just, they're, ah, uh, so frustrating. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, free college. What do you think about social medicine and, and education? Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting all. No, well, <laughs> it, you know, it, it all comes down to socialism. Yeah. But there's uh, social democracy versus total socialism. I just think of free medical care for everybody. Everybody's because right now medical insurance is destroying the middle class and being able to afford that. You got that right. And so it's um, so there's there's got to be a solution to that. And the only solution I can think of is yeah. But who's going to pay for that? Social. We are. We're all going to pay for it Mm -hmm. through taxes. You know, mm-hmm. That's yeah. how it works. You that's, pay. All, that's all we need is more taxes. So which would you – yeah, but look at You're paying $600 a month for insurance rather than paying a $60 tax. You know, that, that it's a huge savings of, uh, of money down. Well, and it brings me – I don't know why it triggers. <laughs> are, 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 you, are you getting – Triggers in your brain now? Oh, yeah. You're digressing? Yes, absolutely. Uh-huh. I was just thinking of, um, what was I thinking of? Uh, oh, repurposing the military. Now, I think this is a great idea. We spend so much money on killing people. What if we repurpose the military so we aren't getting riveted, riveted, <laughs> rid of it? We're still training people, uh, you know, getting people on whatever. We're, but they're going to do it for positive reasons for good reasons they're going to go build um housing throughout the world well, i they're think that they do they do that some but what i'm thinking is that once they have the rotc uh-huh. in, you know in in high school right but i'm i, I think that a, a two-year stint mandatory after graduation in some kind of armed forces yes is a good thing. It would be a great thing. A, it would be mandatory. You could, they could, you know, also uh, continue their education mm-hmm. in, you know, a, a whatever they were looking for. If they want to be an engineer or something like that. Right. Unfortunately, when we go into the military, we're, we're, we go through boot camp and we just get mm-hmm. stomped on because they don't want us to have any kind of thought process. We just are supposed to do, do the like, orders, do you know, told. do yeah. what you're told. And there's just some people out there that can't can't handle that environment. But I think we could just I think it could be designed so that um, it's useful for everybody. It's not about you know putting everybody down at the same level and you know destroying right. somebody's yeah. innocence even. Yeah. Um, yeah. It needs to be restructured some. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. And the people getting billions and billions of dollars just to design ways to kill. People should go away. They shouldn't have those funds anymore. Oh, wouldn't that be a great day? Ah, hey, is golf a sport? Did you ever golf? Yes, I play golf. Oh, you do? I did. Ah, huh. mm-hmm. so you've been I to- knocked the fire out of the ball. Really? Yeah, <laughs> off of the tee. But my close game, my chipping and my putting was terrible. Yeah, my yeah, short was- game's bad too. I like I like the drive. Yeah, but I there's supposed to be golf. two golf courses here. They sold one, obviously. Um, the one that used to be Wedgwood, it turned the, it into the Farmville Golf Course. Is that the yeah. one at the airport? Yeah. Okay. I think they closed that, so I think yeah. there's only the manor that's... And how how is that, the manor? I've never played there. Okay. Is it a snooty place, or can public kind of safely go there and not feel ridiculed or humiliated? Like, because I'm a hack. <laughs> 
<laughs> you heard it here, folks, first. <laughs> That's right. I won't deny it. <laughs> uh, no. I love the game, but... Yeah. Uh, no, the manor is nice. It's, it, it's, it's a nice, nice place, place. Yeah. 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 But is it kind of privileged? To, uh, I, I really don't know. Okay. I really can't tell you. Maybe somebody out there has played golf at there and let it... Because I would love to go, and what's just kind of kept me is this country club environment that mm-hmm. I haven't enjoyed much at all, so... I don't know. It's time. It's way overdue. So yeah. Here's another topic. It's a hot topic of what's the a hot topic? Gun control. Oh no, no, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey, what about uh-huh. homework? Have you noticed? So, with nieces and nephews, I'm sure with you know, have you seen the amount of homework kids have these days? Yeah, I really don't think that homework is is that beneficial. I agree. I've, if you're going to teach a child and he's in school, teach him while he's in school. Yeah, the child has to, you know, once the school day is over with. He should be home and being with his family and not having to worry about, yeah. uh, you know, Mom, I've, <laughs> I'm supposed to make an igloo out of sugar cubes and it's, <laughs> the science project is due tomorrow. And I'm going, oh. Uh, this, this sounds like a personal experience. Oh, it was a personal experience. <laughs> yeah. Or, I, well, Mom, we've got to make a solar system. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Of all the planets. Did you oh, have good. to make when one does of that them? do? Tomorrow. <clears throat> Did you make one of those when well, you? Of course, were? I did. Yeah. No, I, mean, I help my kids. Kids just, do it. But you didn't do it in school yourself. No, I didn't do oh, it in school. Okay. No dioramas or anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, we made shadow boxes and stuff <laughs> like that. But I, you know, I did it myself. I yeah. Didn't wait until the last minute. I was not a procrastinator. Well, we learned a lot. When we got out of school and we were running around in the forest, we were learning a lot of things. And we did a lot of stuff like make haunted houses. And, uh, you know, so it's not like that time is idle. It could be. I mean, we could have sat and watched TV. or And I assume a lot of kids would sit and play video games after school. But I don't know. There's uh, there's some. I, but I don't think that they should have to play, you know, do homework. No, I, I just think they get burned out yeah and you know i i didn't like it yeah because i it, it uh in, interfered with my telephone call. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah oh my you know our, <laughs> uh, kids should be able to play outside yeah but they don't get some fresh air. Much anymore no they don't you don't see kids that play outside you'd much. expect it up at the trailer park and just don't ever mm-hmm. i've seen kids one time there mm-hmm. so. yeah, that's scary but That's scary. What time is it? Oh, it is uh, ten to. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we got a little oh, bit of time. If somebody would uh, call up here yeah. at four three four three nine four zero nine two four. So I have a question about the medical marijuana here. I mean, California was decades ahead yeah. of what it is here, mm-hmm. but I keep seeing kind of controversial uh, information about this. It is, it isn't, it's, you know, these people are killing it. Those people are, you know, finding a way around it. What's your understanding of where all that is? Do I, you? I don't have a, huh. a real opinion okay. about medical marijuana. I just, you know, I think it's beneficial, mm-hmm. but here again, it's a personal thing. Right. And to try to uh, make it general is, I think, a big mistake. Nearly because you impossible. do have certain circumstances. You have certain people who benefit mm-hmm. from the medical marijuana. Do you think marijuana, just in general, being legal across the board is a okay thing? Well... Uh. It, I, I don't know. I've never tried marijuana. I've never. never oh, had yeah, anything. right. I oh, haven't. wink, Seriously. wink. Uh-huh. <laughs> Seriously. You know. I believe you. Yeah. And, huh. and so it, to me, it's, and of course, never been around people who have smoked it while I was wow. around there either. You know, okay. Used it, I should say. So, yeah, me um, either. No. <laughs> but I, I, beli- yeah. <laughs> I believe that um, marijuana should be a controlled substance. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm, 
I've always legal, but can you know, but has kind of some regulated, and yeah. there's yeah, mm-hmm. without um, well. And it's a good way for Virginia to make a lot of money because, I mean, that's what they did in California. It's basically, all right, you do what you want to do, but we're going to tax it like heck. Mm-hmm. And uh, so prices are crazy on stuff like that is what I've been told. I don't have any personal <laughs> experience. Don't in the, laugh the, like why, that. Why? Why? No, no, I'm just kidding. I uh I think, <clears throat> I don't know. So part of it is, uh, when I was young, I was 15 years old, and I was um, hired by this woman that my parents knew. She was a doctor's wife. And so I worked all summer long for this woman. It was great. It was a nice summer um, job. What would you do, mow grass? And yeah, that kind of stuff. Right? Actually, I used a sickle. You know, I probably sickled s- two acres of weeds with you know by hand so wow. we didn't have those tools mm. that they have nowadays mm-hmm. these young kids yeah <laughs> but um it wasn't until i um at the end of the summer i'm just about done <clears throat> uh her husband happened to be there and i'm like oh i don't know how it came up but do, i was like do you think uh, alcohol is better or marijuana is better and he was just he was a doctor. He was adamant about um, marijuana being such a, a, a better substance for kids to do than um, alcohol. Uh, and he's hoping that they do another. But I found out that their son had died at 15 from um, a drunk driver. Um, mm-hmm. So I was supposed to be therapy for this woman over the summer f- for her l- missed child. But... Um, Oh, my. It was weird. It was a weird situation. Yeah, I'm so. sure. But ever since then, so I'm a young mm-hmm. kid, 15, and mm-hmm. I've had a doctor tell me that marijuana is probably better off because it's not as destructive as alcohol. Mm-hmm. And I think about that, and I've tried both, and um, I totally 100% agree that people smoking marijuana aren't going to do half the stupid stuff that people drinking do. And so if that's really the case, which I would probably – I'm assured that it is, then why don't we make alcohol illegal also? They tried that back in the... I know. Yeah. But it just points out more of the hypocrisy of it all. It's all about legislators being able to make some money off of the whole shebang, Yeah, I think. It's all greed. Uh, Yeah. G-R-E-E-D. So... Avarice, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) What do you think... um, uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, are you familiar with net neutrality? This is a huge topic for my son. Net neutrality? No. No. Because I'm not on the net. I, uh-huh. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on, I don't do blogs. I, I just don't do any of that. Right. So basically, the net should be free for people to do. I mean, we pay for our service, but it's not that um, one company gets to pay for better, um, like Netflix pays a lot of money so those people can um, get, you know, so they control a certain market and stuff like this. I mean, it's across the board where it's the new, the, they're trying to regulate the internet where they probably shouldn't be trying to regulate Mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So, but new, yeah. Once again, they got to have their fingers in (laughs) All the pies. Oh, yeah. Are you doing anything this weekend? Oh, this weekend. Yes. Well, I've got, we've got company. Oh. Starting tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. The Woods is bear, uh, um, BR, <laughs> Airbnb. Airbnb, yeah. <laughs> Edgewood. <laughs> so you, you guys named Edgewood. it Edgewood. Uh, it's Edge and Wood. Okay. And, and it's, why? Well, because it was Francis's parents who ah. bought the property okay and her name was edna ah. and he went by gene he's he was francis eugene wood senior oh wow so it would be edgen mm-hmm. edna and gene nice edgen wood well now i know because yeah. i've passed it for the last you know yeah. almost two years now and yeah, i read it right. every day and i'm like hmm i mm-hmm. wonder what that's all about yep, that's what francis's is. parents that's mm-hmm. where it comes wonderful from. people <laughs> fantastic Ah, uh, you did you hear about in California they're making reparations for slavery? Now that is what what's that all about? Well, I mean they're trying to. I, I'm not really deeply sure about the details of it, but they want to make payments to a given 
um, given to a group that has suffered harm from um, from slavery. It says Japanese Americans who were interned at the United States during World War II have received reparations. So um, it looks like African Americans they want to pay for reparations because you know the white privilege um, enslaved these people. So it seems. It seems odd to me that this is coming up and that they're, you know, that they've processed it as much as they are. Um, not saying that it's right or wrong either way. It's just, it's just, it's a strange thing for me. I'm, I'm having a hard time grasping mm-hmm. why yeah. or how yeah, do I, they decide. I, I think you're and, not alone with that. Okay. So, that, yeah. well, that's good. Cause because, you know, we didn't own slaves. Right. Exactly. And that was a totally different era. Totally different time yeah how in you know how do you yeah uh, the I, I don't even know who came up with that idea so so you say you're not on the computer at all no social media uh, no no facebook no no facebook no twitter no uh, nothing like that so just just company this weekend just company you want me to make another lasagna oh yeah that would yeah, cost fifty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a steal these days. It you know? is a steal. Yeah, uh, everything's still kind of expensive it right is now. Very expensive. It's yeah. like ah, uh, don't yeah. want it to be that way. Well, we'll survive. We will. We will. It's getting to that time of the hour. It's uh, eight fifty nine and two seconds. So oh, okay. anything. Well, just keep those cards and letters coming, mm-hmm. Francis and myself. We thoroughly enjoy them. Yes. Once again, the address is 175 Crescent Road, Farmville, Virginia, 23901. He loves them. It makes his day. Yeah. How was it when you came in, the weather-wise? Is it, it's a little cloudy. A little cloudy. It was a little chill. I had my coat on, but I think it's, it looks like it's just beautiful out there right now. Yeah, it's getting up to 70 good. right now. Yeah, it's getting up to 70 good. right now. Yeah, it's getting up to 70 good. right now. Yeah, it's getting up to 70 good. right now. It's getting up to 70 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 right now. It's